All right, to start off uh, to create an HTML and XML sitemap, uh, I would recommend visiting my website and quickly going through just the step-by-step -step process and more importantly, what they are and what we would use them for. Um, but really most modern content man management systems will already have something out of the box that will handle these for you. But sometimes there may be some technical limitation, uh, prioritization, or you might even need to create an XML sitemap to ensure that you are getting old URLs out of the index. So sometimes you could create an XML sitemap of purposely broken or 410 uh, status code URLs to submit to Google purely so that it speeds up uh, getting those out of the index and uh, focusing on better URLs. So for whatever purpose uh, you may need to use this for, this is a really quick way to go about it. So I would recommend starting here, uh, visiting the Google Sheet that I have the formulas all laid out. And hopefully you're using some tool like Screaming Frog or another crawling tool so that you can go in and look at all your visible URLs plus their H1s. I like to use H1s because I think it just has a little bit better context to what the page is about. Sometimes the title format might just not uh, work as well. So I already filtered out uh, any paginated URLs. You might want to look into that too, just so you're not getting any unnecessary extra URLs. But what we'll do is we'll drag all the way down and then hold control. And we'll do the same for H1. Okay, so now we can copy and paste all those. And then we'll paste those right into here. And they will update in here so that you can go ahead and drag down. Yeah, get this. And the important thing here is to paste the formulas only. So paste special values only. So now you can see we have a valid link. And you can go into your website now and create a page. And then all you need to do is paste these links in here. So it won't be very pretty, but what you can do is kind of look at how you have it alphabetized and hopefully your folder structure um, is organized. So you can grab just the blogs. And then as you can see with mine, I have posts. These are all the articles right here. Then I have the categories. Again, those are organized by folder structure. And then pages, I could probably do a better job breaking this out, but you can see there is at least some sort of organization. I highly recommend you do that. But that's it uh, for creating a static HTML sitemap. Link it down in your footer. Um, and this really does just ensure that Google can access all the pages on your website fairly quickly. I know a lot of people don't really like this optimization. and think that Google will be able to find it. But I just really like to eliminate any doubt that Google naturally, without the XML sitemap, be able to find all the content on my website. So it's more just uh, eliminating any doubt as opposed to this is the greatest optimization ever. Awesome. So the next one we have is the XML sitemap. Again, another template. And most uh, content management systems will do this automatically or you will have your programmers create this for you. Um, but same structure, you just need to copy and paste the URLs and then you'll get the final results here again, values only. But then we'll need to do a little bit more technical work to get that uploaded. Some uh, websites will allow you to just drag and drop as a media attachment. WordPress does not do that. So you will need to either use FTP or your cPanel or have a developer do that for you. Um, but to start off again, if you're using Screaming Frog, very simple way to do this. So you could either have your XML sitemap created just for through their tools uh, by themselves. And then you can, I remove last mod, mod tag priority, all that. I really just want the pages and just the 200 status codes. But if you are creating an XML sitemap with purposely, you know, four, 10 links to try and get them out of the index or try to get Google to stop crawling them, you will need to check that. Um, so then just hit export. I have it saved on my desktop. Let's see here. We got everything right here, simple formatting. It'll say generated by Screaming Frog SEO Spider. So this is one way to do it. You could also do the same way we just did with the HTML sitemap. You can manually copy and paste. And this is if you don't have Screaming Frog, but you are able to get a list of URLs. Do that. Let's get back into our page here. Paste the URLs. Get a couple more here. Uh, we're going 
to copy. Paste the values only. And now we have the proper structure. So the URL and the lo uh, location, but then we also need to start the file properly to signify that it is an XML sitemap. So if you're creating a static file, you wanna grab these two and then end the file with this, similar to what we have here. Up at the top and up at the bottom. So when we have this saved, we will want to then, like I said, either use FTP or cPanel. And what you do if you're using, using cPanel is log in, uh, find the public HTML uh, folder for whatever website you're working on, and then you just upload it. So we can see here the mgsitemap.xml was uploaded. mg-sitemap.xml, boom. So this is created valid.xml extension. You can submit this to Google Search Console, big webmaster tools for whatever purposes you may need. And this really is just a handy way uh, to quickly create an XML sitemap for whatever reason you may need. Hopefully you don't need to do manual work to do this, but if there are development implement implications that maybe you just don't have the time to get this created, but they are able to just drop this file on for you, even better. But a very, very simple, straightforward way to get uh, XML and HTML sitemaps created. But hopefully you can work with your development team uh, to figure out a more dynamic way so that you don't need to, to keep doing this manually anytime uh, URL is updated, removed, or whatever. Um, so again, very just simple process for an important task uh, on your website to really improve the visibility. So give it a shot. Let me know if you run into any issues. And as always, if you have questions, just reach out to me on my social channels and my website. Thanks, guys.